Hello Weekend Warriors, welcome back to the workshop. It's a rainy day here in Southern California, so I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot, but a friend of mine dropped by a couple of screens that needed stretching, and I got some new screens in, so I thought, well, let's finish off that video that, that I did last time showing off the screen stretcher, only let's get a screen glued up, and with the new screens, I need to set those up for the uh, three-point registration, and in doing so, I'm going to show a different technique for setting those rift nuts in the frame. So it's going to be a fast video, not a whole lot of hoopla, so let's get right on to it. Hang on. All right, here we go. Now you see, I've already put the mesh into the, into the frame. You saw me do that last time, so you didn't need to watch the whole rigmarole again. So now it's just a matter of tightening this thing up and getting it glued down. So I've got my wrench, I got my bolts, and I'm ready to go. Here we go. Now it's just a matter of careful going around the table. So full speed, or half speed, double speed. Once again, you don't get too uh, too aggressive or else you end up popping the mesh. Ways to go yet. Okay, that's about all there is to it. Now I overdid it on the accelerator, so I've got to wait for it to dry on the on the edges before I uh, continue on. But for the most part, this guy is completely done. So while the accelerator's drying, let's go over and see how we're going to set these rivet nuts without um, without using a rivet nut tool. Hang on. All right, here I have a brand new screen, 230 mesh, and I need to put in my uh, poly nuts or my rib nuts. Now you'll recall from the, uh, from the screen setup video that I used one of these handy dandy uh, rivet setting tools. However, I got mine at Harbor Freight and this is one of those times that maybe I should have gotten a little bit better because it doesn't work so well anymore. It barely crushes the nut and then it's a hassle to get it crushed all the way up. So. That's trash. However, me being me, and being the cheapskate that I am, I figured out that I don't need that fancy tool. Here's a construction strap. It's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, I think it ran like four dollars at Harbor Freight. Here's a quarter inch, quarter inch bolt with a Allen head, a uh, three sixteenths Allen head. Um, you don't have to necessarily use an Allen head. You can use a common common hex head bolt. It doesn't matter. Um, 
And then on the other side, the side that the rib nut goes on, as soon as I can undo this and get it loose, there we go. On the side that the rib nut goes in, there's a lock washer to keep it from, from moving all over the place or, or keep the rib nut from spinning once it's in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rib nut on. I'm just screwing it on. And you don't have to use a 3 16 it's this long. Um, I just happen to have one from my bike shop days. I've, I used a 4-inch one yesterday and it worked great. But this one just gives me a little bit more, a uh, little bit more leverage. All right, so, whoops, hold that guy in place, bring that up to it, and turn away. And just a couple of turns, it's going to be nice and tight. Get that guy loosened up. And bingo, one each rib nut secured into place. Instead of $24 for the tool, I don't know, 65 cents for the bolt, maybe 10 cents for the lock washer, uh, $4 for the, for the strap, and then 3 16th Allen wrenches grow on trees. Um, so that's all for that. Piece of cake, isn't it? We'll be back. And there we have it. We have a new method of fixing the nuts in a screen to set up for our three-point registration. So I can put that one away. I got five more in a box that I still have to do, so I've got a busy afternoon ahead of me. And you actually got to see that my uh, screen stretcher actually does a pretty good job. Now, I wish I had a tensiometer so I could get an actual tension measurement on, uh, on the screens, but is it is I know they work. I know I can do great half tones and the whole, you know, they won't they won't slide around. The mesh is nice and tight. So what more can I ask for on that? Um, who knows what's going to happen next time? But I know there'll be a next time. So until then, you all keep up the good fight, and I'll see you when it happens. Bye.